Well, 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 look what we have here. Are you guys ready for another vlog? Have you ever had a time in your life where you just want to blow off some steam? Where you get to a point where you just want to <coughs> everything that goes out there and <coughs> this and do that and, <coughs> and like it just builds up and then you just end up just blowing up. <sighs> Regrettably, I've had a lot of those moments. There was one moment that I'm particularly not proud of, but it was a monumental moment, and at the time, I did not know that it was going to affect me this much. I was 17 years old, just came off a really good sophomore year, and had a lot of schools looking at me. Like, pretty well-named schools. To say the least, I felt like I was invincible. And what 16 and 17 year old kid doesn't feel that way? I was extremely, extremely undisciplined. And not undisciplined in a matter of always getting in trouble. Undisciplined in being self-disciplined. And what's the difference between just disciplined and self-disciplined? Well, discipline can mean that um, an authority figure disciplines you for acting a certain way. Um, you have an accountability person that um, disciplines you, which we all need at a very early age. But I was becoming a man. I mean, in a lot of cultures, you're a man at 15. So I was in the process of learning how to become a man. And the actions that have been taken ended up leading to this scene right here. That's young me, that's my dad, that's a lamp, that's a brick wall, and that is a cart, a shopping cart. I would like to pause for a moment in this vlog and the story to just like look at look at this drawing. I think I'm getting better at drawing. That's actually not not bad. I mean, I went from hold on. I went from from this to this to this to this. Who knows? Maybe in a year I might be able to do a Mona Lisa. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, back to the vlog. How did we find ourselves in this predicament? Well, there's a lot of reasons. Everything built up in this moment. It just stockpiled on itself and I didn't know how to handle it. My grades were slipping. I had my first injury and it was the third time that my parents caught me. Um, staying out late and at a party that I shouldn't have been at. Sidebar, how pretty do you look? You look so beautiful. Thank and you. you look intimidating with those aviators on. I try. And how everything came to a head was my car broke down and I was completely stranded. So it was late at night. I had to call my dad, and then all the questions ensued. I was in deep trouble to say the least, and me being somewhat of a rebel, I knew that this was going to be not a fun situation for the next 24 hours, maybe 48. So when he arrived, the questions continued, conversation continued. I could tell he was angry. And then I started thinking about, I'm not going in the right path. And I just blew up. And I wasn't the smartest teenager by any means. So I only knew one thing and one thing only at that time. That, was to throw a ball as hard as I can into something. Whether that is a glove, a brick wall, or a shopping cart.
So that's what I did. I ended up taking a baseball and throwing it as hard as I could into the shopping cart to put dents in it. Again, not the smartest cookie in the bunch. But I didn't care. <laughs> My emotions did not care. I was filled with hormones and I had to let out that anger. And you know what? I ended up learning the best lesson I possibly could ever learn from my dad at that moment. He ended up letting me throw that ball against that cart, oh, I don't know, for a good half hour. I don't even know how many throws I made. But after I was done and all my energy was exerted and all that frustration was let out, he said one thing and one thing only. What are you gonna do now? It was a turning point. It was the first time that I really started learning how to handle my emotions. And the saying of blowing off a little steam is always a good thing, it's partially true. If you just blow off steam, that's just not enough because what happens is you're continually going to be in an aggressive state. Basically, you have not learned your lesson yet. You have not learned how to manage the emotions. And in the book, the author describes this really well. And he says that you have to have action items to be able to confront those emotions and knowing how to handle them and being able to create a stronger person and a stronger character. You start viewing emotions without any judgment. So there's not a good emotion, there's not a bad emotion. Emotion is just an emotion. You just have an outside perspective of it. And one quote from the book that really hit a chord with me, and it actually isn't his writing, it's actually from C.S. Lewis, and he says, Crying is all right in its own way while it lasts, but you have to stop sooner or later, and then you still have to decide what to do. My dad instinctively was teaching me that you have an emotion, now what are you gonna do about it? What's gonna happen next? And that was a real big turning point for me. And that's when it started clicking for me. I was falling behind and I didn't realize I was falling behind. I had to catch up. So from the 10 pages that I read today, the things that I learned was obviously yes, no judgment on emotions, but teaching that to a little one is going to be a lot harder than I thought. And thinking about my dad and how he did it, I'm, it just, I don't know how, how he was able to teach that lesson in that moment. But the last thing that I learned, which is letting that steam off, but not acknowledging that it's a good emotion or a bad emotion, being agnostic to it and realizing you still have to do something about it.